Hello guys, welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. I am Navni and today in this video, I would like to clear your doubts about some of the facts about science and engineering. In fact, this video is about sciences versus engineering. In this video, I would like to let you know about various facts of science and engineering, that is, what exactly science and engineering are. How can you classify science and engineering? What are the various kinds of differences between the two most sought after streams and which is better to pursue in today's context? So guys, let's first start with science. Science came from the Latin word scientia, which means knowledge. And in other words, it is a systematic knowledge base or prospective practice capable of resulting in prediction. It is the observation, identification, description, experimental investigation and theoretical explanation of natural phenomena. It is the process of gaining knowledge through study and practice. However, engineering is the branch of science and technology. Engineering is the application of principles of science and mathematics to develop economical solutions to the technical problems. In general, it is the combination of science and mathematics to solve real-world problems that improve the living way of people. Engineering is generally concerned with design, building and use of engines, machines and structures. Now, let me tell you what exactly science is all about. Humankind has always shown keen interest to understand the way things behave in a certain way and trying to link observations with prediction. This is where science works. Science is the product of two things, truth and understanding. There are three main goals of science. First one is research to understand. Second is the research to solve a particular problem, that is applied research. And the last one is dispensing solutions. The study of science is classified into various types. Natural sciences, social sciences, behavioral sciences, applied sciences, and health sciences, etc. Let's now talk about natural science. It is the study of objects and phenomena existing in nature, especially biology, chemistry, physics, and the interdisciplinary related sciences. Natural science consists of five main studies. So we'll be talking about that now. So now let's first talk about astronomy. It is the branch of science which deals with celestial objects space and the physical universe as a whole. Astronomy is the study of sun, moon, stars, planets, comets, galaxies, gases, dust and other non-earthly bodies and phenomena. The next is biology. It is the study of living organisms divided into many specialized fields that cover their morphology, physiology, anatomy, behavior, origin, and distribution. The science of life or living matter in all its forms and phenomena, especially with reference to origin, growth, reproduction, structure, and behavior. With this, we come to the next specialization that is chemistry. It is the branch of science which is concerned with the substances which matter is composed of, the investigation of their properties and reactions, and the use of such reactions to form new substances. It is a physical science and it is the study of the properties of and interactions between matter and energy. In other words, chemistry is the way to study the properties, characteristics, physical and chemical changes of a matter. With this, we come to the next specialized field that is physics. Physics is the branch of science which is concerned with the nature and properties of matter and energy. The subject matter of physics includes mechanics, heat, light and other radiations, sound, electricity, magnetism and the structure of atoms. It also consists of studies of forces such as heat, pressure, gravity and the way that they affect objects. The next field is Earth Science. It is the branch of science dealing with the physical constitution of the Earth and its atmosphere such as geology and geography that are concerned with the study of the Earth. The another branch of science is social science. 
Social science generally deals with scientific study of human society and social relationships. Social science also has many subtypes of studies which are a group of academic disciplines that examine society and how people interact and develop as a culture. Social science as a field of study is separate from natural sciences. Studies like anthropology, archaeology, communication, economics, ethnology, geography, linguistics, political science, semiotics, sociology, they all come under social sciences. Next in line is behavioral science. In short, it is the scientific study of human and animal behavior. Behavioral sciences generally disregard the existence of mind and concentrate on the patterns of response to external stimulus. There are some fields like ethnology, psychology, social psychology, sociobiology comes under this category. Another branch of science is applied science. It is the discipline dealing with art or science of applying scientific knowledge to practical problems. Studies like acoustics, agriculture, applied mathematics, architecture, computer science, etc. are the kinds of applied science. The last one of its branches is health sciences. Science which deals with human and animal health is called as health science. Its main focus is on health or healthcare as core parts of the subject matter. The science fields like bioengineering, dentistry, epidemiology, healthcare, medicine, nursing, pharmacy, social work, veterinary medicine, etc. come under this category. These all were branches of science and all of these have their own role and importance in human life. Now let me tell you what is engineering. Engineering is the process of designing human-made world. It is the systematic application of knowledge and experience to solve problems and protect and improve lives. Engineering teaches us how to use knowledge and creativity to find solutions to society's problems and to improve the quality of life for humankind. Engineering takes a thought or an abstract idea and translates it into reality. Engineering helped to create almost every human-made object that we interact with on daily basis. Like science, engineering can also be classified into various branches or you can say that engineering can be broken down into several sub-disciplines. There are various types of engineering and they are based on different themes. So let's do them one by one. The first one we'll be talking about is civil engineering. Civil engineering is the design and construction of public and private works such as dams, bridges and other private and public large infrastructure projects. It is everything you see that's been built around. Civil engineering is one of the broadest and oldest of engineering disciplines. The next branch of engineering is mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering is a broad discipline that applies the principles of engineering to the design and construction of machines and their parts. It helps us to understand the working mechanisms of heavy tools and machineries. It is also one of the oldest type of engineering. Now we'll be talking about the next branch that is chemical engineering. It is the branch of engineering concerned with design and operation of industrial chemical plants. In broad terms, chemical engineering helps to conceive and design processes to produce, transform and transport materials beginning with experimentation in laboratory, followed by the implementation of technology in a full-scale production. The next is electrical engineering. Electrical engineering is the study and application of electricity, electronics and electromagnetism for the development and maintenance of electrical and electronic types of equipments such as electric motor, navigation systems, medical devices, broadcast, communication systems, power generation systems, electrical distribution systems, electric grids, etc. Now I'll tell you about electronics engineering. Electronics engineering is a form of engineering associated with electronic circuits, devices and the equipments and the systems that use them. 
Electronics engineering is a kind of electrical engineering discipline which utilizes nonlinear and active electrical components such as semiconductors, especially transistors, diodes and integrated circuits to design electronic circuits, devices, microprocessors, microcontrollers and other systems. This brings me to the next important field that is computer science engineering. This engineering focuses on the basic elements of computer programming and networking. It consists of various topics that relates to computation like analysis of algorithm, programming languages, program design, software and computer hardware. So these were some of the most sought after and evergreen trades of engineering. However, there are various other trades or branches of engineering like manufacturing engineering, acoustical engineering, corrosion engineering, instrumentation and control, aerospace, automotive communication, petroleum, environmental, systems, audio, software, architectural, agricultural, biosystems, biomedical, geological, textile, industrial, materials and nuclear engineering to name a few. Now I would like to tell you differences between science and engineering. There are some aspects which differentiate science and engineering. Science is a set of knowledge and validated systems while engineering is utilization of these systems. It is also the knowledge to create devices and structures which make the living standards comfortable. Engineering uses different scientific fields in its pursuit of suitable designs and methods of producing devices for the benefits of man. Science has several qualifications like natural sciences, social sciences, empirical and applied sciences, while engineering has four main branches which are chemical, mechanical, electrical and civil engineering. Well, science is the study of systematically arranged facts that can be logically explained. Whereas engineering is a branch of science that deals with the discipline of gaining and using scientific, mathematical, economic and practical knowledge to design and produce machines and devices that are useful to man. Science doesn't have to do with the building as engineering does. Scientists work in labs most of the time and engineers work in different places. Science is more of physical and chemical changes and engineering is more of hand-working projects. However, they are also similar to each other in some prospects. As engineering is a branch of science, so therefore it is similar to science because it is a science. Also, science is technology and engineering deals with technology. So, they are similar in way of technology. Eventually, I would like to say that science is the mother of engineering as engineering is a part of science called applied science. However, both fields have their own importance in human life and you can choose any of these according to your interests and liking as there is not much difference as far as career prospects and job opportunities. So guys, I hope that I was able to give you a clear view and I was able to clear your doubts about both science and engineering. If you like this video, please press the like button for getting regular notifications, please hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video. We will be back with other interesting and informative videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.